Hey guys, welcome back to Windows Fixer. So I saw this comment recently. Someone asked, why does IDM stop working when I'm using a browser VPN? And yep, that's a solid question. In this video, I'll share a few valid tips to fix it. And trust me, it's actually simpler than you think. Before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out on our future fixes and tech guides. All right, let's break it down. Quick disclaimer before we start. This video is purely for educational purposes. We're not promoting the use of VPNs to bypass any legal restrictions or access copyrighted content. Use VPNs responsibly and always respect your country's internet laws. So you're using IDM and everything works fine when you're downloading from normal websites. But the moment you try accessing a blocked website using a VPN extension in your browser, IDM suddenly stops working or just keeps saying gaining data forever. Um, yeah, that's not a bug. That's just how it works. See, browser VPNs only route the traffic inside the browser itself, meaning only Chrome or Edge is going through the VPN, not the whole system. But IDM is a separate app. It doesn't follow your browser's connection unless it's told to. That's why when a website is blocked on your network and you try to open it using a browser VPN, it loads fine in the browser, but IDM, which is trying to grab that file using your actual system network, gets blocked. That's why it's stuck on gaining data or never even starts the download. Now let's talk about how to fix this. The first and most stable method is using a proper system level VPN. This means the whole PC, not just the browser, is going through the VPN tunnel. Once that's set up, IDM will follow the same route and the download will work just like it should. But there's another method too. If you don't want to install a separate VPN software and you're already using something like a SOX proxy or VPN configuration, you can set it directly inside IDM. Just open IDM, go to downloads at the top, then click on options. After that, switch to the proxy slash SOX tab. Here, you'll see four options. By default, it's set to no proxy SOX but you can either select Use System Settings, which will make IDM follow whatever VPN or proxy you've set up in Windows, or go for the last option, Manual Proxy slash SOX Configuration, where you manually enter the proxy address, port, username, and password. If needed, if you've already set up a VPN in Windows using the built-in VPN settings, just choose Use System Settings here in IDM and that's it. Everything will start working smoothly and yeah, I already made a video in Hindi long ago explaining how to configure VPN in Windows manually. You can try that same method, it still works today. So bottom line, browser VPN won't help IDM. Either go full system VPN or make sure IDM is told where to connect, either through manual proxy or by syncing it with system settings. That's all you need. And IDM will be back to working perfectly even on blocked sites. If this video helped, don't forget to leave a like and drop your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Catch you in the next fix, right here on Windows Fixer.